Hey guys, welcome to the Vegan Quarantine Meals Edition. This is outside of Trader Joe's. Y'all see the line? Yeah, they were only allowing 30 people in the store at a time. But, so here's me. I finally made it in. Um, just picking up a few more items to stock the fridge at home and to make my quarantine meals. So, this is me just, you know, hitting up the produce section. Of course, as a vegan, this is where I live, so I get... Most of my things um, in this particular section of the grocery store, if not the perishable aisle for uh, canned food. So you're going to see me um, getting all the necessary things that I need in order to make the next few um, days worth of meals. And I am so excited about it, guys. Um, so this featured video is for the vegan um, pizza that I made uh, with the cauliflower rust guys it is so 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 good so i'm in the frozen section so obviously this is where i picked up the pizza crust and you'll definitely see it they had another kind but i think i just decided to hold off on that but anyway keep watching And just like that guys we're done trader joe's interesting experience but anyway i'm gonna bring some quarantine meals to you next so stay tuned okay guys so here is the cauliflower pizza crust from trader joe's um it's made with cauliflower and corn flour of course while i was in the store I made sure to look up the ingredients just so they wouldn't get tricky on me. It is gluten free, so it's gluten friendly for all you um, gluten restricted folks out there. And this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. My sauce, which I'll put the link in the description below on how that's made, and some crumbles. So you can get your own kind of crumbles, whatever you want. I like the original so that I can add my own seasonings. And then I just sauteed um, some spinach just to wilt it down uh not too much maybe two three minutes and i add a little bit of water so here's me um about to dress my pizza pie uh with that oh god y'all that sauce is so good i don't know about you but the sauce really brings the pizza together it's really the, the highlight for me um but yeah again i'll put the description for this recipe below it's optional to add any other sauteed vegetables into the sauce, but you know, it's up to you. So here are the crumbles that I'm putting on next. And then I'm just placing the wilted spinach on the pie, um, you know, where I like it, cause I want it in every bite. Um, and then guys, 
the cheese. When I tell you it was a hit or miss, I was nervous about it. But this is Lazanati um, mozzarella style cheese. It melts gloriously. Do you hear what I'm saying? So, put it in, take it out, and guys, look at that. Hold on. Okay, I was struggling. Here we go. So, look at that. Look at that. Look, look at that stretch. Do you guys see that stretch? Oh, my God. And it was so, so good, guys. It's even been tested out by non-vegans, and they loved it. Yes, indeed. So, guys, I would love to see you guys share um, this video if you make it. Um, go ahead and tag me on Instagram at I am Shamika Jones. But this is where we go from a plain old cauliflower crust pizza to something wonderful and magnificent like da 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 da. Boom, there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See ya.